This is um, the beginning of the video diary from uh, my performance development course under the tutelage of Mr. David Whitler. Um, I'm just going to go through each week. I'm going to do a recap in the first three weeks. Um, first week was obviously quite foreign and all strange. It's becoming slightly easier the more I practice. But basically we looked at, um, one second now. We looked at the position of the base in relation to myself, as in how I was holding it. And we discussed a few things. This distance here is important to the shoulder. The position of the left hand on the strings, like such, keeping it straight. Uh, the thumb being placed in the middle, I'll just show you that. Behind, moving sort of in a pivot, pivotal fashion. Um, and as the couple of weeks have gone on, it's becoming a little bit more straightforward. And um, the right hand is, um, I hope you can see that. Maybe you can't. I'll just come a little bit forward. You can see that. No, back. <laughs> anyway, the right hand is. Week two was um, a recap on what we'd done uh, with the um, base sitting into my body in such a position that really if I, I can have it there then it doesn't move. I'm beginning to achieve that, which is good. Um, having that distance between the neck and here, close, and then the finger up here, the, sorry, the elbow up here, the thumb in behind, and that's my left, my left hand technique my, on this side of my left hand playing kind of sorted, obviously there's lots of work, but that's kind of the idea. Um, the other thing is the right hand. What we did was we took the scale of B flat major and with two hands, I'm just showing, we're using a two finger technique here that David showed me. Um, so this is the right hand technique here. And I'm using, in this particular case, I'm using two fingers to, to approach each note. So the one sort of supports the other. I find it quite good because the instrument is new and this single finger technique I'm sure will come into play at some stage. No pun intended. Uh -huh. So I'm going to play the B flat major scale. You won't see that, but you'll see the right hand on the, on the technique just moving through the, the scale from the A string up to the G, the G string, like this. Yeah, so that was that. Um, from my tuning is probably slightly out because I'm still kind of finding my way with the instrument, but I'm sure that will sort itself out in due course. Uh, week three was the bow. Um, we'll continue that tomorrow. Um, but that's the first two weeks wrapped up anyway, and it's been great. Difficult and challenging, but um, getting there slowly but surely. This is uh, week three of uh, my video diary for um, my performance development module, learning the double bass. Um, last week, in fact, the last couple of weeks, we've been looking at bow technique. What I've learned, I've understood to have learned at this stage, is holding the bow, my right hand, with the fingers spread out across here. My hand in a very relaxed position, falling down, and then engaging the uh, base in a perpendicular motion across the strings. I'll demonstrate that in a second. Um, this technique here with the thumb at the back and the little groove there. Um, I'm not sure this is the definitive way to play. I suppose I'm obviously still at the early stages of learning this. But this feels good, so I'm going to play the bass in a second and demonstrate this technique.
This is pulling the strings on the bass. Um, I just play up the strings from now, just to uh, demonstrate what I've learned. So I'm I'm to approach the uh, strings in a uh, play across strings in a perpendicular fashion, slightly pressing in. That's the E string, I'll do the A string. D string. Also varying here, I suppose as I move across the strings, the technique becomes even more uh, profound. I suppose I have to try the G string. And this is um, again. I just told in the bass, the more natural fashion. Perpendicular across the strings, pressing slightly in as the bow traverses the string. And this will apply to all the strings, obviously the A string. development but I'm working on it and uh, trying to improve it but I think they're sort of fundamental techniques um, I'll come back to you in a few weeks when I've worked on the technique a little bit more and just to uh, highlight my hopefully my um, progression there thank you this is me practicing in the mirror so I can get the visual correct visual uh, results um, just bring it back to the base a little bit to support myself to support the bass, I should say. So, perpendicular across the strings. Here's the open E. Perpendicular across the strings. tension in my right hand, my arm and my fingers. So I need just to relax a little bit, try again. So here's our perpendicular across the E string, open E string. Sounds a little bit better. Try that again, perpendicular. Not too bad. Um, again, I've only sort of been learning this technique the last few weeks. Um, I am finding problems with the bow, holding the bow. Um, it's quite challenging, but I'll come back to that. With a few, hopefully with a few weeks practice, I'll be able to improve on that. And obviously some more lessons as well. And just going over some exercises. A. So what I'm doing there is I'm tuning. <coughs> so I take two. This is a little exercise I'm doing to uh, tuning off the open A string. Then going to the B flat, keeping my first finger down, and then going to the B natural. So still having little issues with that. My left hand up on the arch, so I like to call it. Space between here and here, quite close. Uh, feeling comfortable. My left, my left leg slightly cocked, pushed forward to support the base, 
and this feels comfortable actually. So I'll try that on the D string. So I get D, sorry, E, F, keep my fingers down, F sharp. So my reach to the F sharp is still a little bit off. This is the one I've really been practicing, the one I was asked to practice. Open A, tune in, go to the A sharp or B flat, as whatever you're having yourself, to be natural. So, keeping all the fingers down, coming back, and to the Here's my uh, B flat major scale. So that top one's out. I'll try that again. So that needs a little bit of work. But anyway, this is the, this exercise. Uh, the right hand is just, I'm using this double fingering technique, which I've been taught, which I really like. The more, obviously we practice, I'm getting slightly more used to it. I put my finger, my thumb down. Um, and then with my left hand, my thumb at the back supporting the fingers. My left hand, my left arm up and Cutting the space between here and here, shortening the space. Massive, isn't it? Does it remind you of anything? Uh, I'm going to play a little scale. It's what we call the door I made. Some tuning issues on top there. Still a work in progress. This is riff one with the metronome. Yeah. Just keep the arm up. Base distance here quite close. I'll do that again. The arm up. If you can't see my fingers, but this is just more about the uh, the the notes here I'm getting with the left hand. I'll play that again. 
goes like this. Hi, this is um, week seven of the um, video diary. Um, what we studied in the last class was two things. The thumb position, I'm just going to turn it around here, is keeping the thumb nice and centered. So it moves more like this as opposed to up and down, which I find very beneficial, especially for finger position. And the other thing we did was um, we took the D major scale, and as the fingers come down, here's open D, here's E, and as I hit F sharp, all my fingers come down, which gives me F naturally here, which is good to have. But this is, in terms of getting the fingers together, moving the fingers together, I find this very beneficial. So, and on the G string, the same. So, as the my first finger comes down, I aim for the B. The third note on the, this progression here, all my fingers come down, which gives me B flat naturally. Sorry, my tune is probably still slightly out, but I, I feel I'm really getting there. All the fingers down with the thumb staying in the same position. Really keeping everything really solid. Down together, down together. Thumb at a fixed point. Still pivoting, but not moving up and down. Our backs and forwards, creating a really solid um, uh, sort of position for the fingers. The thumb, as it is. The, th the th fingers feel very free to to move. Sort of safe in the knowledge that the thumb is keeping everything exactly in the right place. Obviously, this is a little bit of work, but um, that was what I learned. That was week seven. So, sort of a lead on from week six with the bow. I've been working away with it. Um, again, keeping the bow perpendicular to the strings. A strong hand position with the right hand, trying to work on that, developing that, and then just sliding across the E string, sort of moving the, the bow in a perpendicular fashion. I'm finding the pain I had in my thumb as pronounced as it used to be due to these little exercises I was given to do where you just press the first forefinger and the thumb together for about five seconds take away and repeat ad nauseum it seems to have done the trick um, I'll just shoot that again here's the A string Should have mentioned was that the um, with the right hand when it plays that I must sort of lose the tension around my shoulder and let it drop no tension and then taking the bow not feeling any tension in the right in the right arm shoulder area and then just drawing the bow obviously across the base again in a perpendicular fashion.
attitude for the on my um, progression in the the higher strings. Striking from around here, cross, this needs work. This is a, we gate, this is an exercise, um, keeping the fingers down as I move through the notes. Which each finger supporting the next finger as I move through the notes. I'll just show you. I just play a blues scale there and um, or, yeah, a major sort of a blues scale thing um, in B flat, just to show you how my fingers are moving. So it's. A B flat scale um, using the sharp five and the uh, sharp, I'll call the notes as I play them. B flat, C, D, E flat, E, F, G, A flat, A natural, B flat octave. Play that for you again. This is uh, week eight, um, just looking at the uh, thumb position of the double bass. When I'm playing, keeping my thumb, just gonna give you the angle there. Keeping my thumb nice and rooted at the back. Not a whole lot of movement needed. I'm finding the thumb with the arm up is really helping. I'm trying to just keep it at a strange angle just to show it to you but it's just playing through an F major scale. You know the thumb is basically I suppose acting as a pivot. Um, very little movement um, up and down just a touch but I'm finding this is really rooting my fingers in properly and for positioning and everything else uh, that goes with that, um, this is really helping. So let's play for you again. So it's more the movement of the elbow I'm finding is Strange angle, but just to illustrate that. This is um, week 11 and 12 combined. I'm just going through um, a couple of technical details here on the bass. Um, main thing is being hold the fingers down when I play the notes. So in the tune we're just working off the moment, it's down by me, and this is in B flat. And as my fingers come down, all my fingers are down. And the same, coming back to the G, open string, F to the open string G, and then as I hit to the E flat, all fingers down, all fingers down, this is stand by me. Um, in G, so I've got some extra open strings here to work with. So we got open D, F sharp, open G, repeat. And I drop to the E here, 
As I hit the F sharp, all fingers down. First finger, all fingers off. It's pretty straightforward. Open E, open D to an E. Then I go to C. So my first finger has to be behind, supporting that. I find this very good because it seems to really help my intonation. And back to the F sharp and G. I'll play the whole thing. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. time again just watching as I hit the C with the fingers fingers always been down as many fingers as necessary you have to come down to support the plain finger one more time Stand by me one last time. This is week 12, this is another recap on uh, finger positioning, correct finger positioning. Um, I'm using the intro to the Cures Love Cats as a good example of this. It's quite challenging, um, but you hit the low on the lower strings, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'll just show you what, what I'm doing. Basically, we open, open A to an E, straightforward enough, close to the 5. But then we get to the C, well, there's a D before that. D, so that's not affected. But when I hit the C, all my fingers down, which passes nicely to the B natural next to the C, running down. And then when I hit the G, my fingers are in position for the F. So again, I'll recap that. So A. slower at a slower tempo so what I'm really doing is concentrating on getting all my fingers down when they need to come down when the little fingers playing a note I need to be supporting with the other fingers this is a, a two-pronged effect this puts my other fingers in position in a proper tuned position uh, for the following notes for example here from the F because I, I move from a C so I have all my fingers down on C to the B and when I hit the G I'm ready for F and then back to my C again, all my fingers down, running to the B, and again with the G, I've got all my fingers down, my, my thumb is sitting nicely at the back here like this, if you can see that, um, in position, sort of acting as a pivot so to speak, and my left arm is, is raised, so basically to, to get, to affect all this technique and to get these notes right, I need to basically be doing everything correctly as in 
my left hand should be at the right height. Uh, the base should probably be a little bit closer to me, like this, edging towards me, um, for easier access. And obviously the fingers then um, are in the proper positions to keep the whole thing in tune. So I'll just play that again. Okay, let's do it again. I'm going to play that again. So as I hit the G, my fingers should be engaging before the F. The C. So everything is supported. All the fingers are supported by the other fingers. This is the correct technique. I, I I'm assuming from from my lessons. Um, this is what I'm gathering. This is what I'm learning. So although it's a simple little riff, it's quite. I think it sort of highlights the techniques needed to get this in tune and sounding good with a good tone. Um, I'll just do that again. So we go as I hit the C. All the fingers are down to the B, to the G, and as I hit the G, all my fingers down here behind, supporting. Tricky, but doable. Down for C, running to B. As I hit the G, all my fingers in, left, left arm raised, and hitting the F, open the D. It's also the, having the F in correct position obviously gives me an advantage for hitting the fifth it's naturally there. So I'll run one more, I'll just play that riff one more time. <laughs> 